the golden astronauts, they're like the Wonka Bar prize of vintage space bling, little chrome spacemen. Roughly 1 to 64 scale, just like a Hot Wheels car, which is what first led me to them. Two varieties here, the back row are derived from spacemen by multiple toy makers. These in the front derived from spacemen by LP Toys who, if I'm correct, manufactured the figures for multiple toy makers for their Golden Astronaut line. And the Triang SpaceX line. And the white guy is here to remind me that I still haven't got a, a loose dude in that pose. The quest goes on. Each would come with one of these hard plastic vehicles manufactured by a Hong Kong based company called MacArthur Limited. Never had a scrap of these as a kid. I've only discovered the line as an adult. See, I was born in 1967, so 1969, my parents were not getting me missile firing breakable little space toys. Here are mint on the card specimens of my favorite of their ground vehicles, the Moon Prospector or Explorer MEV-2. As packaged up for the SpaceX line, and as you can see there, that one has the spaceman that I'm missing from my loose golden astronaut stash. And I would have been all over this stuff had I been born three or four years earlier. That's what we have the internet for. <laughs> And there's my loose SpaceX Golden Astronaut Cruiser 1 Pleasure Cruiser. I have one still sealed on the card. Now it gets to stay that way. Number 30306. Whoa. Huh. That's weird. Anyway. Quick visit to the Triang SpaceX Toys website reveals that the vehicle was very briefly issued in a lemon yellow in Britain for the SpaceX end of the line. The design of the spaceship cheerfully cribbed from a comic strip in a magazine aimed at young readers, although they were able to wrangle a patent out of it. Interesting, no operator figure. Ash, can you see this? And they got cheerfully cribbed by HG Toys, who made this holocast version for their label slapper sets. Though no harm done. By the time HG made theirs, SpaceX and Golden Astronauts were long over. Yes, I got it. It's the nuclear freighter, NF-2. Made in Hong Kong, Triang SpaceX. And a two. Definitely get a Thunderbird 2 vibe out of this thing, which shouldn't be surprising since the toy designs were greatly influenced by the aesthetics and spirit of the toys designed for Jerry Anderson's Century 21 patented design being in-house all the way, derived from a Fireball XL5 comic strip. Thunderbirds was like one of the shows we lived for when I was a kid, and it's an oversimplification to say that the Golden Astronaut and SpaceX lines owe their existence to Jerry Anderson, but I've hit upon this idea that they were called Golden Astronauts because that gives them the initials G.A. Just saying. Not as complicated as Thunderbird 2, maybe, but... Interesting how that piece is off-centered. With your golden astronaut figure. And off you go. Here's my still-on-the-card control specimen of the cruiser. Don't have a freighter on the card yet. 
I'm proud of myself for never opening it up. I really wanted to once. And as you can see by the border around the outside of the blister area, this is an earlier example of the carding, if I understand the way the line progressed correctly. And here they are at the Golden Astronaut launch facility. The uh, back of the cruiser open there for some sort of work. He doesn't know what he's going to do. That guy can't hear him. Is our freighter waiting to refuel our copy of the cruiser by HG Toys? And these guys are commiserating over whose phone is ringing. Pretty awesome, awesome stuff. stuff. I would have been, would have been down, been at, the down at the store every, every other, other day, day looking to complete my set. And someday I will. Someday.